So those of you who are interested in um, pollinating the Phalaenopsis, uh, I would like to just show you um, one of the easiest ways that we can do this. Here we are, we have a Phalaenopsis and we saw the seed parts earlier and I just want to show you um, kind of quickly uh, typically how they are pollinated. So in order for us to produce a seed pod, um, you need to pollinate the orchid itself. So the Philomnopsis is unable to pollinate itself. So typically at the moment, uh, it's always done by um, uh, intervention. So the way how we pollinate is we go in with a stick and um, you can kind of see this is the column of the orchids and there's an anther cap and underneath the anther cap is the pollen. So this little part over here is actually sticky. So if I go in with the stick gently and if I lift this up, the anther cap has now fallen off, all right? And what we have is the pollen. What we have is the pollen in front of us. So the anther cap has fallen off and you can kind of see the cap is there to protect the pollen and this is what you have. So we want to now take this pollen and go underneath another orchid like so. And you can stick it in there. And that is how you pollinate the Phalaenopsis. As time goes by, the orchid is going to wilt and then it's going to swell from this point on. And I'm going to show you a few examples of the seed pod. And that's how you would typically pollinate a Phalaenopsis. So here we have the epidendrum, um, also very, very similar. You've got your a much longer column, um, as I can show you here, the anther cap in front, and then also the pollen that is within the anther cap. And with the dendrobrium, you've got the anther cap there, right in the center, um, sitting on top of the column, and the pollen is going to be underneath the anther cap. So the anther cap of this orchid has fallen off, so exposing the pollen within. So that is where the pollen is. So um, we do the same process of pollination and then the seed part um, would typically look like this. They might come in different sizes depending on the orchid. Um, but they are very, very similar. So if I were to break open this, so I'm going to leave this one here for it to develop a little bit longer. As the stem dries and this dries off, and we'll be able to open up and then you're able to actually identify that there's actually hundreds if not thousands, tens and thousands of seeds within. I hope everyone have a better idea of the different type of orchid that we have, the ways how we go about pollinating them and how the seed pot look. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like these videos, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can see more of them. I'll see you in our next video. Take care. Bye bye.